Hello, Kelly Bear here. I'm finally getting around to doing an unboxing and walkthrough of The Gay Marseille by Charlie Claire Burgess. Um, I think this is the longest I've sat, well not physically sat, metaphorically sat on opening up a deck um, and looking at it ever, I, I, I believe. Um, I received this, it'll be two weeks ago tomorrow. Um, but I, I've been unwell and, well, I, I I was very busy with stuff and then was unwell. And yeah, it's all just meant that I've I've not been able to do some unboxings and walkthroughs of, of a number of, well, of two decks that, I, I've, that have come in. Um, obviously the glare is really bad with the ring light, but as you can see, it's still in its... Um, it's it's plastic, uh, cling cling wrap film wrap, um, shrink wrap. That's the one. Um, I'm I'm still not well. I have been prescribed new medication today, which I've picked up and will be taking later. Um, so I'm hoping that will do the trick. So if I seem still a little tired or a little off, um, that uh, is because I am. <laughs> but I just really want to like get into this damn deck. Um, so as you can see here, um. I've got I, I I this was backed on Kickstarter and I believe it was it is to maybe today yesterday or today that this um deck goes on pre-sale you can actually order it um if you didn't back the Kickstarter but you you really like the look of this deck and I just know I'm going to love this this deck I I followed the creation of it over on Instagram and then obviously the campaign updates as well um that Charlie Claire Burgess was putting out um via Kickstarter and um I ordered it I think it comes with this as standard with the little the little hand stamped pouch which is really cool little cotton ca um, canvas pouch the tuck box feels really nice it's a really nice map card um, and I also ordered um, the the guidebook that you have to order separately um, with the with the Kickstarter um, and the reason I ordered this is I really love how um, Charlie writes about the tarot in the guidebook for the fifth spirit tarot which has become one of my favorite all-time decks in my collection like I just know that that is going to be a forever deck for me a hundred percent I've worked with it so much in the um, year and a bit that I've, I've had it I was very kindly gifted um, it uh, last year by I love the lovely Sandra and um yeah, I just, I just thought, well, I'm really going to want to know what um, Charlie has to say about the Marseille system because the Marseille is like my favourite system, um, and also, you know, I want to know what Charlie's thoughts were or are regarding the choices that they've made. And I, I, if you get the opportunity to have the information from the artists themselves, I always think that's, you know, and so I'd, I'd, pl I'd plumbed for that. And then um, when we were confirming our addresses and stuff with Backy kit i was like oh sod it love a bit of love a love a bit of sticker action so i apologize again once again for the for the glare but there's some uh we've got like the uh, tarot card we've got the temperance death um justice and then a few other little bits that i'm sure will be popping up uh, throughout the deck um so i'll be putting these well like a couple of them probably on my my divination journal as well as um my magical journal and uh, my little book of shadows thing so yeah i'm excited to stick those on stuff on things um so we should get stuck into this um i might have to zoom in a little bit so i will see how it comes how how easy it is to see the cards when i open it let's read the back Let's see. The Gay Marseille Tarot is a liberating new interpretation of the classic Tarot de Marseille with a trans emperor and gender non-conforming empress, polyamorous lovers and a sapphic pool party under the moon. This cheeky deck celebrates gender diversity, sex positivity, non-binary beauty and queer love. The cards also remember the past and present fight for queer liberation with references to queer history and culture throughout. With this deck, it's written in the cards the future is queer hell yeah so yeah this this is very exciting oh i can already see this almost like sea foam green back it's really it looked amazing on camera but in person it's even more beautiful and it's a linen card stock isn't it just the colors are just scrumptious i just want to lick them like look at all the little details oh my god like just even on the little flaps there's like a little bit of oh everything look at this with like 
non-binary flag and the little flower every little part of it is just i actually love that attention to detail it makes my tickles me i love it anyway so um yeah let's get stuck in it doesn't quite it's it's showing up a little like a more of a deeper jade tone on um camera but in person it's more of a sort of slightly lighter sea foam sort of mid 20th century like 1950s kind of green i think i'm gonna have to zoom in so i will pause and when you when i come back you will see that um we are we are this, the setup might have changed a little bit okay so i'll be it'll be but a moment for you okay i hope that's easy to see i've got a little bit of glare from my ring light on the screen of my phone so i can't quite tell if it's i think that looks okay i've also had to put the overhead light on in the room because it's very uh gray cloudy sort of on off rainy day today and <laughs> it keeps really sort of messing with the lighting so hopefully this will be um easy to see the backs are just gorgeous and reversible also i've just realized i'm just going to take the lid off of my cup of tea um because i was keeping it warm while i set up um so you might hear me sipping my drink here and there so i apologize if you have like misophonia um but i need to uh when i talk a lot i get a really really dry mouth oh there we go lovely all right so let's just go We've got a card that's got the minor arcana keywords and major arcana keywords. So that's pretty cool. Lamat, the fool. So let's have a look. No masters. This is just going to be so, I just know I'm going to, I mean, I've seen all of the cards now because I've seen the walkthrough, but seeing them in person is quite a different experience. I love it. I've got the tattoos. This might be a long walkthrough because I'm probably going to have quite a lot of thoughts about each of the cards. Um, I love that they've got a bum bag or fanny pack as they're called in the in the US, I believe. But we call them bum bags. Um, the little bells on their motley. Love it. Libertia. This is giving Victor Victoria vibes. I don't know why. I know it's not half femme, half mask, but for some reason it's just giving me that like a... Um, an oldie worldie Victor Victoria. <laughs> Very cool. La Pépès. I love that the, the little triple moon's hanging from her, like a pendant or something. Little eyes of a dog peeking out there. Oh, I love it. And there's like the torch there. Yes. Oh, my God. The Empress. <gasps> Live, laugh, liberate. Fuck yes. What does it say on the necklace? I don't quite know. My Even with my glasses, I can't quite see. But, yeah, I love the whole look. The makeup, the hair, the beard. The nose, the nose stud, the nails, just I'm all about it. I love it so much. The Emperor with the chain. We've got leather daddy vibes here. We've got the leather cap and the Oh, they've actually got daddy on the on the pendant. Actually, there we go. You've got the, the DM boots. We've got the Anna yes, the anarchist symbol <laughs> over the Emperor's. Um I'm gonna be interested to read what Charlie says about this card, because obviously, you know, there's a lot of um patriarchal colonial um well, obviously, it was it was created within a, a patriarchal, patriarchal colonial environment, cult culture, and so and this is trying to sort of um, break that down or um, transgress it to uh, to um, queer it up to give a new perspective. And I just you know I'd be interested to know what what Charlie Claire is writing about these more sort of authoritative cards, you know. That traditionally, you know, an emperor, an empress, the pope. La Pep. I love that we've got like the French and and the with the Roman numeral, and then we've got the Arabic numeral with the with the English. Drag story hour, yes, please. Look at this gorgeous lavender 
color the the pink and the lavender the color and the like seafoam green are just really they just mm, there's like a baby pink a warmer pink a purple a lavender and then like this yeah seafoam green like the red the blue and the yellow and even the pale blue you see quite a lot in classic tarots but the green tends to be like a darker color a more sort of bold um secondary green say like green when you meant you know like a bold primary obviously green's not a primary color what am i trying to say you know like if you bought a set of poster paints and you've got like a green in it it would be bolder like the ones in the traditional marseille oh my god this is going to be such a ridiculously rambly video i'm not very articulate my brain fog is really <laughs> pretty intense at the moment um it all it's it's been it's can be pretty bad sometimes but it's been really bad while i'm unwell um the the lovers is this a polycule is this a this is a um what was it that said on the box it says um uh, poly yeah polyamorous lovers yes please <laughs> love it and you've got like the the trans flag colors represented here and then there's like the giving the middle finger on the like uh, like patch on the back of the garment there of this character on the left oh my god i love it so much finally i'm loving this lavender lavender is such a sort of lovely queer color along with like a very particular shade of green because of the whole like green was it a green carnation i believe with oscar wilde but lavender as well also or sprig of lavender or the color of lavender and i really wanted to film this on my i have my cutting mat that i work at is lavender you might have seen it in some of my photos for my like instagram or my community feed but it really was I, when I was trying to set up the camera it was really skewing all of the color of like even these flowers and just the back that it was just showing up a really weird color so I had to go to the just the white desk the chariot we have here just I keep forgetting to look through my my phone and so I keep thinking I think I think I'm, I keep sort of not really showing the card um, very well I need to remember to be more mindful of what I'm doing um, but they've got their little harnesses on and they, I believe like their little horsey masks pony play yes my head cannon is that they have horse tail butt plugs in as well <laughs> that's my head cannon why not love it love it justice no justice no peace love is love the future is trans land back oh my god i love this so much oh my god what's that this looks like there's been spray painting on the the here and that they're wearing a mask this is um, very much like the mask that i wear when i go out just do you know what it looks more hardcore and it is more hardcore and it's like very high uh Oh, what's the word filtration but it's it's also the most comfortable and the easiest to get on and off so i could probably wear something a little less sort of heavy duty but the, all the other ones i've tried are not as comfortable so i actually uh, i wish mine was purple and gray the ones you can get the model of the one i have in the uk is blue and nate like dark blue and gray and the model of the same one in the US is purple, black and grey. And I've really considered, because I use it all the time, of like buying, ordering the same mask, but from the US. So it would go more with my aesthetic because the, the, the UK version doesn't go with my outfits. And I know that's really like vain, but I'm sorry if it's something that I have to wear for the foreseeable in certain situations, then I want to have one that like I can feel cute and badass in. So, yeah very cool oh uh, the hermit looks like an old crone yes please because like I, I watched the tom benjamin's walkthrough a while ago um when he put it well, well when he put it up pretty much um which was probably at least three weeks ago at this point and i've my memory is terrible so some of these are like a, a, a welcome surprise because i'm like oh yeah this one um i love the, the her um or his or their we don't know. I just say they because it's more inclusive. Um, patched with the stars and the broom and the little mortar and pestle. There is a bony, like, skeletal foot. It looks like poking out the bottom there, which is kind of spooky and cool. <gasps> yes, please. We've even got the chin hairs that um, many of us tend to get as we get older. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, which is just 
a great big party. Now, I'm not generally a fan of the Wheels of Fortune, but this one, yes, I can 100% get behind this. I'm sorry, does this... So they've got like a... Oh no, I was trying, I was seeing my eyesight's so bad, I can't see what's some of the smaller details. Oh, they've got, yeah, they've got frilly knickers on. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so the, the, if we have freed, oh my God, when Tom Benjamin, I'd forgotten that they, I, I don't know if, I can't remember if I'd seen this one. I can't remember if Charlie Claire had shared this one or but when this came up in the walkthrough I watched. I was just like, ah, because it's Frida Kahlo and it's Frida Kahlo in one of the like the plaster corsets that she painted. And I was so fortunate. There was a Frida Kahlo exhibition at the Victorian Albert Museum Museum several years ago where there was just, oh, my God, it was astounding it was I was in there for hours it was amazing and they actually had some of the plaster corsets they had like her shoes and her clothes like it was just it was amazing but to see this representation of strength someone that lived with uh, you know from from a very young age involved in a, a life-altering accident who lived with chronic pain for her entire life was very sort of gender bending and queer like the pictures of her when she was younger in like the masculine suits very against convention and then of course like what working through the pain and working in bed there's you know the pictures of her painting sort of laying down in bed with the cat the uh, the canvas sort of suspended over her just it's a real as someone who a creative who is lives in a chronically ill body and just find it you know only and before I was a creator you know before I was ever like dealing with this ever since I was a teenager and I I learned about Frida Kahlo probably when I was about I don't know, 13 or 14, and I was just, like, enraptured and love her artwork. Le Pendu. This is, so this is going to be such a long video. We're already 15 minutes in and we're only at The Hanged Man. I mean, I'm, I imagine it'll be a bit quicker with the pips because then they're a bit more of much a muchness to an extent. I know that Charlie's done some really interesting things with this. This is a really, like, quite intense look at this sorrowful face. They looks like there's real pain there, and they've been, they've been, you know, actually harmed. They've been struck by arrows. We have growth coming out here, though, which sort of offers some hope. Saint, oh, it's Saint Sebastian. There we go. Oh. Death, gender is dead. Gender is a construct. Oh my God, we've got this. Someone giving the middle finger. Someone throwing the horns here. <laughs> oh there's a tooth there i have a weird thing with teeth so whenever i see teeth and stuff like i have a thing about like bones and skulls and teeth but teeth more like specifically for personal reasons about or surrounding some stuff um i just whenever i see teeth and things it just makes me happy and i've got a little snake a little pink and red snake wheeling through there oh temperance with the non-binary flag theme. This literally looks like a friend of mine. I might take a picture of this and send it to them after this. <laughs> Very cool. And you can see the top surgery scars here. Oh, I cannot even do... <laughs> I can't wait to read with my friends for the, with this one. It's making me feel quite emotional. <laughs> the devil... <laughs> with the nipple pasties oh my goodness yes love a bit of nipple pasties i remember my nipple pasty days back that's not a random comment i do, i used to perform burlesque so uh i do have some i do have a couple of my pair, pairs of pasties pairs of pasties <laughs> say that fast five times um kept for kept aside for good for for uh, memory's sake i love that we've got like little branches growing out little twigs growing out of this one here they've got piercings in their ears on this one the devil looks like a good time and it looks like we've got like we hit and they're here with the good time right this is where this like is dionysian like the the the, the grapevine and then what looks to be a pine cone on fire which puts me in mind of the bonfire tower actually with all the, the pine cones and you know the cloven glitter platform hill boots are just giving me life Oh, yes. This one, though, just when I saw this, we've got 
Marsha P. Johnson and um, oh Rivera I can't remember why can't I? my so well my my memory is really bad at the moment I'm really struggling to like access my memories um, but yeah the the Stonewall riot um, the House of God Le Maison du um, and it's it's just such a you know with the progress flag it's such a oh it's such a mood and we've got a judge and a and a cop falling out <laughs> oh, this is this is brilliant we have a l'étoile the star we've still got the bird we've got a spaceship there we've got a little flying saucer which is a fun little touch um and then we have someone where that appears to have some partly like bionic arm that looks like it's sort of bionic and then there's like some transparent section maybe this is like some future because the bird looks kind of strange not like a bird i would recognize in naturally occurring i also like that we get some eyes can you see in the in the ground um <laughs> so we've got like interesting play with like the um, gender symbols their planetary slash gender symbols um and the little like starfish pasties i'm kind of into as well i love this so much stick oh yeah the poor the, the poor party see they've got i bet you they've got the little the little tail butt plugs in <laughs> that's my head and then we've got someone chilling in the pool and they're wearing a lobster swimsuit the moon is looking down they have like fabulous lashes lilac eyeshadow perfectly defined brows yes i'm into the sapphic pool party that looks fun <laughs> Le Soleil and this is beautiful because we've got a nod to the bathhouses um and you know, he literally says that yeah like bath and they're in water we've got a cigarette and we've got an ashtray we've got a cocktail and I love we've got like the little winky sun <laughs> which is just I love I just I just love I just love it all this is such a clever and fun deck Le Jugement um and we've got people here at the bottom as usual all sort of looking up at this uh, trumpeting angel their wings are really impressive all these colors this multiple rainbow halo oh the, the, the progress flag coming as a banner or pennant coming off of the trumpet shit's burning in the background <sighs> the world oh wait, we get two two world cards I don't know which one I will work with because they are both beautiful. I don't know. It's so, do you know what? I think the only way around it is maybe to just alternate because usually when I use a deck and there's two options, I usually take the option that I, I keep in the option I like the most. And then I don't, I sometimes put in the other option and work with that. But for the most part, I just keep in the one that I like. But when I like both of the options, I'm like, oh, I might just have to just switch them out every now and then. So gorgeous. And I love that we've got like a differentiation in like the color of the wreath at least sort of changes that up as well. It's absolutely stunning. She got nipple piercings and a navel piercing. <laughs> All piercings that I either have or have had. <laughs> okay, the um, learning lots about uh, my nips today, it seems. <laughs> Pasties, piercings. Um, can you tell? I'm just not quite, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not filtering. I've tried to be a bit more sort of tactful and a bit more like kind of grown up in my videos lately. I don't know. Trying to be a bit more like not serious, but I can be very, um, what's the word I'm trying to find? This is me with brain fog trying to find words. I can be very, oh, I can't even think of the word. Not off the cuff isn't the phrase I'm looking for, but I flippant. I can be a bit flippant, a bit silly in my videos. I'm trying to be a bit less um but you know sometimes or like the oversharing but sometimes it just comes out because it's genuinely just about who i am but yeah oh god sorry i've just knocked the uh 
but yeah. Oh, I've just knocked it. I'm so sorry. So let's go into the uh, ones. We love got the growth coming out here, the fire at the top. We have bees in the two, cherries and strawberries in the three. Um, this is this is interesting actually because I do have cherries and strawberries tattooed on me on behind one ear I have a strawberry and behind the other ear I have cherries and it's purely because I just really love strawberries and cherries but I I want to know why I want to see if there's any mention to the strawberries and cherries in here I'm just seeing ripe oh okay so growth and ripeness that makes sense so they're, they're growing these berries and cherries okay okay that makes sense that makes sense so we've got some oh my god the four with the paint brushes and the paint splats on the ones and then on the like filigrees oh, i love this the five we've got some flames again you know the fives they're unstable they're a, they're an odd number we have the six we have the, the pride flags coming out the side here. Oh. Seven, we've got some thorns again. A seven, an uneven number can feel more like a tricky. Those, those, those odd numbers are a little more tricky, a little bit more gnarly. We've got a bit more binding going on. We've got more, you know, the more cross hatching we're getting, the more sort of harder to penetrate this, you know. We have the eight and we've got arrows which is kind of nodding to the to the uh the eight of ones in the smith weight uh, as tom benjamin also noted as well uh the nine we have a big old skull which you know again me and skulls they are i just enjoy them <laughs> we all have one i guess <laughs> the ten yeah, we've got this lovely lattice work almost like a trellis and then we've got plants growing through it stunning page of wands with her little duck in the, the sock there awesome sauce the knight of wands on a pink horse <gasps> cute never mind ride on a white horse like goldfrap said i want to ride on a pink horse <laughs> queen of wands with a banjo Oh, I love the, the sock suspenders. Very cool. The king of wands with the chaps. And the like glittery stats and with the crown. And all the flames again, of course, because it's wands and it's the suit of fire. We're on to the cups now. I love that this we've got like boobs squirting we've got like it's just it's a f overflowing with liquids like you're getting a real like you know this also looks very volvo um very like squirting action going on here <laughs> i love it this this deck is not for the um the coy or the prudish or obviously the coy phobic <laughs> obviously um that goes without saying really um the two with the little rings we've got all oh, these classic layout with the little sort of banner at the bottom got the little faces on these little fishy guys cute the three with the singing the singing lips singing lips on the cups and the little musical notes four just have these lovely big flowers blossoming the five hands in prayer and some liquid square splashing out interesting six we've got cocktails it's cocktail hour on the six of cups seven we have all the eyeballs it's kind of like and this one like sort of with the eye closed in the middle is it sleeping? Is it resting? Is it not looking at the situation? It's isolated from the rest of all the eyes looking at it. Oh, that's interesting. We have the eight and it's got hearts and just one of the hearts has like a little crack in it. Oh, this is such... Oh, sorry, I'm just gushing. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we have biblically accurate angels on the number nine. 
and then we have a number of queer flags represented in the uh the ten of cups oh i love it there's my, there's my one <laughs> awesome source okay page of cups there's like some sort of swirly magical almost like there's a moon and stars and they're sort of daydreaming i love this like hairdo i love that you're seeing someone that's got a hearing aid on i kind of love the sandals the outfits in this just are hell yeah the knight of cups I love the horses, even like all the little details, can you see? Like the pink mane and tail. Yes. The Queen of Cups. I, the, basically, they're giving like Ursula vibes with the whole like Octomaid situation. Um, I'm, a, I'm an Ursula fan, I do. <laughs> I mean, how awesome. I love all the little shells on the crown. Sorry, I'm just sort of looking at this in awe. <laughs> I'm supposed to be showing it. The the king, I love the like the the um the nod to the the, the very brief um uh nod the, the brief very brief history of ships in in hats or in wigs um in the in the 18th at a certain point in the 18th century that it was a moment in time um <laughs> and uh yeah i love that nod to that as well here i do love a pirate outfit i'm so gutted that like um our flag means death didn't get a season three but also they did wrap it in a way that it sort of works ending on season two <laughs> Um, right, Ace of Swords. That's interesting. We've got like a little flail situation and then like a feather boa. Pick your poison. Slap or tickle. Bit of slap and tickle, eh? <laughs> both. Why not both? We've got padlocks. Oh, we're getting very bondage in this one. I like it. Um, so we've got the two and then we've got padlocks and then in the three we've got padlocks with keys. A little heart shaped and they are all they've all been opened they're all in the open position so clever we've got a rose it was the chain around it a little drop of blood because obviously a rose is beautiful but also it has thorns oh the five we have we have uh gauntlets or gloves are the gloved ones called gauntlets i can't remember Bracer is when it's just over the wrist and the hand is free, right? The forearm and then a gauntlet is when it's like the glove with the glove bit. Smashing through. Or, you know, fisting. <laughs> okay, we have HRT, number six. I love this so much. Again, oh, I can't wait to show this to my friends. Oh, God, this is so cool we have the seven and we have a number of switch blades and a sword absolutely drenched in blood that's a pretty gnarly gnarly one there we have the eight we've got this little um mesh sort of prison here in the middle and then like just little little fluffy little fluffy handcuffs interesting we have the nine and we've got like a needle and thread i believe the little curved needles to get is that for like suturing repairing hmm 10 we have r.i.p and with a little halo and some lilies kind of lilies hmm page of swords looking very dapper sort of a cross between sort of sort of early 20th century to mid 20th century suiting and then like armor <laughs> of the days have gone by days of yore the knight of swords oh my god look at that jacket is that a purple leather jacket fight the power oh, i love it so much and we still got the nod to the like the original style of the pauldrons as well loving the hairstyle The Queen of Swords. It looks like she's um doesn't see out of her left eye. There's like a scar running across it, like it's been damaged. 
Um, but being the Queen of Swords, that's, you know, she's a very insightful character, right? I love the bits of grey in her hair and then like all these piercings. Oh my God, I just love it. And she looks older as well. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just getting very excited. <laughs> the King of Swords. I love this like blending out on the, on the, the warm toned eyeshadow and then the purple lip. Uh, and then on to the final suit, and that is the coins. So we have little acorns, or, which makes sense for the suit of coins, right? It's being like the seed or the, the beginning, and it's the physical realm. It's what's, you know, growth and health and body and material realm, your actual physical um, monetary wealth, that kind of thing as well. The two is done in the classic style with the... Is the Oh, no, there's no, like, date or naming in it, though, but... I like the pink snakes, like tickling tongues. <laughs> we have the three of coins. It's like growing out from the, the coins, which makes sense because it's growth. So it's like these seed, these seeds, these actual coins are seeds and they're germinating. They've split open and they start, the growth is pushing through really nice we have the four which again has that more classical uh, representation of the the shield in the middle that security that solidness that stability that groundedness of the four and the suit of coins combined very sturdy 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 card the five of coins and they're they're broken they've shattered we've got that five that uncomfortable that that upset but we have this one in the middle which is safe it's protected and it's shining and gleaming we have the six again this is interesting we've got this four in the middle and then the two coins on either end are being sort of protected they're being held by these two sets of hands really interesting can't wait to read the book the seven further growth but it looks like it's much more stable it's really although we've got it's like growth coming from stability from a foundation movement from a foundation the eight we have oh they're cogs so you can see all the little cogs here so you can imagine them twirling. They're all sort of moving all around, and they're all around the middle here. Oh, it's just like a little clockwork, cogwork. <laughs> Nine. Very interesting. Again, we've got. I'm sure, is this meant to be caught or something? It's like a. Is this like a pearl necklace? <laughs> An hour, an hour. I don't know, maybe my head is my head cannon again is that's a pearl necklace <laughs> you've got a 10 oh look at the growth and so the acorn becomes the oak this is almost like we're looking down through the top of the oak tree and there's some acorns and the leaves and these are all things growing off of this tree oh what a gorgeous representation and then we have the page of coins Got the little plant and the trail and the little butterfly. Probably got the little Birkenstocks on. And they're, all, they're all gardeners. Oh, God. The uh, Knight of Coins. Really practical clothing. Lots of pockets. Love some pockets. Queen of Coins. Oh, my God. I love this so much. Little bees, the hive, the little bee on the end there. And oh my god, even like little, so the little bee, the, the honeycomb details on the crown. It's all like the little, I just feel like I'm going to be looking, I'm going to be finding little details in this deck as I use, use it, as I work with it. And the king of coins is, um, they're sort of carrying like a, a, a their, their bounty, what they've harvested. So we've got fruit and vegetables in here. I love it. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I will zoom out and then we'll look at some of the, like, look at it together, like a lay out some cards just to see how it looks. So I'm just going to pause it and be back in but a moment. Okay. So let's give this a little shuffle. 
Oh, my rainbow's all skew with. <laughs> um, so let's just do overhand first. I tend to do sort of a, a vertical overhand because I, I have I do have small hands, and so uh, a horizontal one is always a little trickier for me. It was not too bad. I just find this, I get a lot of hand pain now in in my joints, and so just stretching the like I can really feel it here and here. Like I'm it's that finger extended it just sort of feels a bit too uncomfortable so i tend to do it this way which arguably it can be a little bit more unstable doing it this way like it's uh, sort of getting a bit more used to doing it like that and then of course the old riffle which is my fave i have a feeling it will riffle shuffle perfectly because of the card start yeah lovely am i going to edge this card this deck rather don't know. It would be lovely to find a, a pen that matches the that green. I think that would be nice. But also, I think if the lavender or the pink would be a nice colour. Hmm, I'll have a think. Every time I do a riffle, it like push it. The, the, the force of the air blows the flowers a little further away. <laughs> but, you know, you need to give it a go. It'll probably, I'll, I'll lay some cards out and they'll probably sort of um, uh, end up still coming out sort of not as quite as shuffled as I'd like. But we'd be here for a while to get a deck really, really well shuffled. But yeah, overall thoughts, sort of before I sort of lay some out for you to have a look at. Um, I, I think this is an excellent, excellent deck. Um, I, I, my initial sort of impression of seeing it in person is I definitely um, really enjoy enjoying the artwork. All of the nods to sort of qu like queer culture um and queer life um and as a queer person in a queer relationship that makes me happy um so yes it is sort of filtered through a particular lens in a sense but it's also i feel being intersectional right because you're seeing nods to you know you've got land back and black lives matter and all sorts of um, really important um you know feminism all sorts of important social justice movements and and um situations being represented and and um acknowledged in this deck um so that's really cool so uh, to see this in a the marseille and as tom benjamin's been saying of late as well like it really is a golden era for marseille because you know two three years ago um marseille was getting more and more popular i mean it's been popular for a while but I mean, it's sort of really taken off with, I'm seeing folks um, that have been like ride or die Smithwaite people that are going, I'm going to give Marseille a go, which just tickles me and makes me so happy because, you know, it's something that I've really come to love. And I'm so glad that I gave Marseille a go because it's now, you know, my fave. Um, but yeah, it is, and, and so off the back of that, we're seeing um, not just more Marseille decks, but just more interesting, diverse, colourful um, decks. So like the um, Ash Estrella Tarot, which I would very much like to get. The Marseille Pond de Vie by Krista Flute, Avanti K's Tarot. Um, there's the... Um, Mold, uh, the diverse tarot de Marseille. There's oh, what's the artist's name? Is it Alina? I can't remember. Or Elisa? Elise? I apologise if I'm misremembering your name. Um, if, if should you be watching this? Um, and uh, I'm trying to think of um, other decks that are doing really interesting things with the Marseille. But my my memory is is really bad right now, and I can't seem to. Um, and because I'm thinking about what I'm trying to say, I'm not paying, I'm not actually looking at what I'm doing. And as a result, I made a right dog's ear, a dog's dinner of that last little one. Well, let's leave it at that, shall we? Basically, to T T D L R, I loves it, and I know I'm gonna I'm gonna work with it a lot. So we have the Empress, the Two of Cups, the King of Cups. Queen of Sword, lots of people cards, the Seven of Swords, and the Wheel, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, which is just 
just tickles me. Um, I'm just going to just... So, yeah. Um, I love it. I love it. I think Charlie Clive Burgess has done an amazing job. Um, they ran a really great, uh, tight, well-informed, like, up, like kept everyone informed um, Kickstarter campaign. Cannot wait to read this. Cannot wait to stick my little stickers on there. I will probably put it in this for now, but I have a feeling I'm going to, I really want to make one of my own pouches, um, picking out all of the, like just every, like picking out every, as many colours as I can and putting it into the pouch with like the glittery ribbon and some like ridiculously like queer rainbow charm and just yeah i'm just all about that i think that's going to be really fun to make um so yeah or oh yeah anyway i'm just having lots of ideas um but yeah and then i'll probably store other bits and bobs in this um and just use it for general storage but yeah um so anyone else have this deck have you been working with it what are your thoughts um and uh, those of you that don't have it um as it goes on sort of pre-order or sale i can't I, I think it's pre-order and then charlie will order in as many that have been pre-ordered because then it saves them having like stock just sitting around i think that's how it's happening i can't remember i only sort of skim read the post that i saw yesterday um, but i will put that information down below because um if you're interested in picking up a copy let me know i'd really like to know if it was something that you wanted to um pick up after seeing it um or you just missed the Kickstarter and you wanted to pick up a copy. Or are you someone that has just always been on the fence about Marseille for various reasons, whether you think they're ugly or you just really don't like the fact that they are so like white cis hair and like obviously based in this sort of patriarchal colonial sort of framework that, you know, is this, has this sort of given you um, uh, the, the option of using something, working with something that's a bit more colourful. And like I said, the other decks that I mentioned as well are doing some really fun stuff with representation and artwork and the colours used and things like that that make it sort of, um, and, you know, like representing um, more more um, people uh, and lifestyles and stuff like that so yeah do like if this one isn't tickling your pickle go check out some of the others that I mentioned as well but yeah let me know I want to know what your thoughts in the comments and I'm just I'm absolutely bloody waffling at this point this has just got over 47 minutes um, I can feel my voice is definitely going um, and I need to upload and edit this edit and upload this that's the one that's the way around you don't want to try and edit it after you've uploaded it and that would be pointless and silly uh so yeah i hope that um yeah, you enjoyed this video it was a bit of a mess but i'm again i apologize i'm not feeling great but i just i just couldn't wait any longer to be honest to just tear into this and um yeah thank you so much for taking time out of your day to to watch um and listen to me just chat bollocks at you and uh i hope you are safe and well wherever you are i'll see you in the next one ciao